Hey everybody, you figured to do a well this is different. By recording things in red. <laughs> Weird. Must be a super software update from my phone. Oh well. So anyway, this is our group layout from Rism and Rome. And our buddy Aaron, class cousin, did the uh little signs up there. Cheesecake and everything. And there's Michael. Or Mike, whatever. And the scale layout is up top of there. So I'm going to show you guys that in a second. And I believe these are my BNs. Or is it B7? F7. F7. I can... It's okay. No big deal. So these are my real, real grand. Real grind. I always mix up the name. Real grand, I guess. There you go. So. These are mine. This one has this one has sound. I think that it's this one. one. Yeah, this one has the sound unit. These two are the power units. Uh, got Amtrak over there. It's a little messy at the moment. Been working hard. Yep, a little messy. No big deal. Everything is messy when you're working. Um, yeah, I see the new update they did in my phone. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's recording red, which is kind of weird. Old school. I think that's my pop can. That's my pop can. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, being really careful, I don't, I don't try to spill anything. Now, I think this is my NS. Yes. Yeah, that's mine. That Aaron got me. Thank you. One more day. Uh, here's my 7018 CSX with a uh, look sound in it. Sounds really awesome. And then the 9001, where it's at, it's somewhere in this. It's somewhere. Yeah. It's <laughs> someplace. Someplace, yeah. It's got low sound as well. And this has soundtracks. I think it's Ekonami, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Sort of an E, so. I'm trying to go nice and easy for you guys. There's my other one I bought first time. 7765. It's got low sound as well. It sounds really nice and great. Train clock. I was going to do this Friday, but we didn't rent no trains. We were so busy yeah, wiring. wiring up on stuff on the layout and just didn't have time to do a recording. So I'm sorry for being, let's see, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days late. <laughs> but most of you are probably from Rhythm and Rooms channel, and I appreciate that. Hopefully, you find the links on the other video I did. Budweiser building, and then you got Kind Hands Auto Parts with Richard Suell, <laughs> I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. Know, uh, uh, Dodge. Dodge, that's right. I don't know why I was thinking he had a Chevelle. Some other things. Oh, there. Oh, that's Michael's 901. I was like, oh, there it is. Or 9001, I mean. Mine is somewhere. And then, uh, let's see. My 765 is... Still out of the uh, thing, yeah. Oh, right there it is. Right over there. And then these are my two. My brother's 765 is right there. And it's 611. It's pretty awesome how the detail worked. And what he's done to his building. Comes up. On both? That oh, that's still flimsy. And then you actually see some engines in there. I know I'm an in skill division, but it's always nice to do different things on it. I'm not. This will be all train related, so don't have to worry about that. I can't wait to do this to my the bar resin or this resin. Yep, bar resin. Yeah, I got some ideas for my river scene, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. Got people over there painting. Oh wait, why am I walking up to? I just zoom in. That was dad's idea. Yeah, our dad's idea. Yeah. And I like the ships and her thing, but now I gotta figure out how to do fish. For N scale, that's gonna be the funnest thing. Oh, I gave part of it away, but that's about it. And have some more ideas. 
And this is 40 by 20, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, here, here's my interstate. Takes up the whole garage. Hey, wait. Where's the, uh... The other one? Yeah, Lake Erie and Western, I think it's called. Because uh, right here's the interstate. Oh, it's on the table, on the workbench. It needs to be fixed yet. Oh. Some place in my mess. So, there it is. I found it. I'll find your 901. 1068. Oh, my flash is on. Usually, my phone will sometimes. And then right there, this is Erie. See if I can actually. And this is made by Bachman. A lot of people say Bachman don't have that great detail. Well, to me, it's got great detail. I think. I love it. I mean, there's like skull trains and all that stuff, but now you're spending big money. Me? I don't care. A train's a train. If you're going to have fun with it, that's what matters. And this is Bach made by Bachman. He said he found. Oh, that there's my 901. Yep. Sitting over here. Way over there. there. And I believe the 901 is. Lokesan. Yeah, it's Lokesan. I know that. It's a Atherin? Yes. Yeah, Atherin. The. I can't remember what that one is. I don't know if that's an Atherin or a Atlas. But the other one I bought off the same guy. Yeah, it came with the 901, which would be 7818, is a Atlas. So. And. Oh, yeah, I forgot behind me is our staging yard. So, we got this massive bridge there. Yeah, one of our staging yards. Trains underneath, staging yard on top. And it connects to the layout right over there. More trains. <laughs> so. Connects over there, we can actually have one track going around and then back on to the main for here. And this is our reverse loop. It's so easy to do. Because this way here, you can see, oh, down here, this switch. Yeah, I think that one's the power switch. Right? Huh? The one right next to the big switch is the power switch, right? Yes. Okay, then you have two different track styles. So this bottom one is the curvature to go around the corner and then the top one that is straight goes that way which actually that one is the reverse loop yeah that's what i mean okay that's what i was talking about the reverse loop and this is the power yep. it on and then you just go up and down you say like you want to go this way and then you get part way to i think hey you don't have marked no i haven't got around the mark now I believe right here. Yeah. Because I see where, the cut. Where it's cut, that's where they... Yeah. And what you mean by cut is... Oh, wow, look at the detail. Like right there where it's cut. And then you just flip the switch and then you go straight onto that way. And the signals do work. Yeah, the signals do work. Oh, man, this is awesome. So what I've been doing... I ran out of switches. So now these switches here are... powered now sweet yeah then we don't have to do my buy anymore <laughs> which is cool and, and it's a hidden switch which is really awesome yep that one right there that one right there is an atlas yeah. and we have a bunch of other stuff oh, a nine minute video ain't too bad i really like this thing here oh mid so do i mid block or our own town a false story yeah which is called the Iron Triangle. Yep. What? Go down a little lower. See oh! F Tower. Ah. Down here we have F Tower. Oh wow. It really shows up. Yeah. So these little window frames, I actually 3D printed for him. I think the door is too, right? Yep. Yeah, the, the door is in the little one. These windows still? Uh -huh. or? Oh, okay. Oh, you shrunk them down. Uh -huh. Okay. But the monitors and stuff, I did not do. <laughs>
In the third case, he had it put together himself, which is pretty cool. He did he did a really good job. Oh, gotta get my finger out of the way. So and then down here you can see it goes in like a big loop around, and then it goes all the way down. And then it goes, and that's our second staging yard. <laughs> Back up here. And over here is the side track to go down to the under layer, which is right here. And then you look down here. It looks like a wiring that mess, but don't mind the mess. Still being work in progress. It's even worse. Yeah. And over here we have the other side of the layout. Man, this thing. I love running trains with everyone. We just need. Wow. Those home riders look great. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for yours. I know, so I can finish mine. I gotta do an update yet, too. So that'd be in this second second video. This is the first one of this. Mm -hmm. Our club layout with Mad Mad World W. Gotta throw that in there. Then it goes all the way back down that way. Show them the, where the where your 901 is. Oh yeah. This one here. You got the red. Yep. And the other side would be uh, green. Green. And then I'll give him the oh, wrong one. No, he should have green now. I think. Yep. Yep. Red and green. That's what I've been working on. So cool. Then up here we have the end scale layout. Turn my flash back on so y'all can see. Which Chad got me hooked on again. Yep, and I got me hooked on it. And then the next thing I know, I'll take my RC track down and I want to build an N scale layout. A lot better than an HO, a lot more room for N scale out there. So, this is kind of like my idea I'm going to do. Mixed it with a little bit of the HO layout as well. So we can do two things. We can run our N scale and our HO layout, which is pretty, pretty cool. Try to get all that in one shot. It's kind of hard to do because... I think the best scene on this whole thing is the street runner. Yes. I definitely agree on that. All this came out great. Especially the diamond. Which ones? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and back over here, we have a loop. And then back down. And later on, I'm going to do a cab ride on it with my 3D printed car, which is down there. Down there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. Oh, that's right. We test fitting it. So here's my 3D printed car I did. The funniest thing is, I test printed it in my glow in the dark filament I have, PLA. I have a Ender 3, or Ender 3 is what I did. So this is a, a guy, he made, he designed this uh, car, and I printed it out and didn't like it because it bowed and everything down, and plus my camera didn't really, it's a camera car, but he had it, I think about right there that much, and it would bow and bend, and I made it a little bit more different. I added... The little part you see that curves up, I had that a little bit thicker. Took away the side marks. And got rid of the camera hole, because I'm not going to have a big camera on it. And so now, if I wanted to, this can actually glow in the dark. While driving my camera, or camera around. So this shouldn't be too wobbly now, I hope. So that's pretty awesome. And it goes this nicely. Sweet. Can't wait to actually use them on my layout later on too once I get it built. Or get the track done, I mean. Takes time when you need track. That's just too awesome. We'll start working on it tomorrow. Yeah. My phone rays just are in town. But they won't be shipped or delivered until tomorrow, which kind of sucks. That's what happens when they get late at the post office, but eh. It'll be on your birthday, so we'll yeah. on your birthday, so. That's going to be awesome. 
Yep, tomorrow will be my birthday. Yay me. Oh, that's it for right now. Hope you guys enjoy this big layout and the tour of it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to power on just in case anything's on it. Yeah, there's one. That's why I don't want to do it. So, hopefully Friday everything will be ready to go and then we can fire this up and y'all can hear what it sounds like. At. It's, oh, you can show them all the scenes, all the houses and stuff light up at night. Oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. Alright, thanks for watching. See y'all later.